today I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I finished in the last couple of months. So I actually bought um, a little bin from the dollar store to kind of be like the official empties bin and it is starting to overflow a little bit so I thought it was time to do this video. So I'm just going to get started. So I've never had this many duplicates in an empties video before but I'm kind of obsessed with these makeup wipes. These are the Kirkland brand and they are the daily facial towelettes and I don't even know how many I have in here. There are so many. So these are Costco brand makeup wipes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could say that I'm obsessed. So I have six empty packages here, but that's not counting the ones I probably accidentally threw away. But literally, if you guys know someone with a Costco membership or you have one yourself, go to Costco and buy the big box of these makeup wipes. The huge box of them is like $12 or $13, which is pretty much the cost of about one and a half packages of Neutrogena wipes at like Walmart. I'm going to show you guys the box. All right, so this is the box right here. So it comes with four of these huge packages right here. And then I don't have any of the travel size in here, but this is what the travel size look like. It's really tiny, so it comes with two of these. And my mom also buys these for back home because I also have two sisters. So her and my two sisters go through a ton of makeup wipes, so this is a really good deal. So if you live in a family with tons of girls, I would totally get this. I have tons of Bath & Body Works soaps in here. I don't know why, but I feel like Taylor and I fly through soaps, and it's ridiculous. So this one is the um, Coconut Lime Verbena. And this one's Italian Lavender. I cannot stand lavender anymore. So this soap was not very yummy at all. But this one smells really good. I really, really like like fresh smells like this. Mmm, it smells really good. And then we also finished Caribbean Escape and Sea Island Cotton. And I think this one is my absolute favorite soap. It smells delicious. And then this one is Tuscan. Is it Vineyard or is it Vineyard? Because I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. But yeah, so those are the soaps that I have that we finished, but Taylor always throws them out before I can like stash them away in my little bin here. But we go through so many soaps, it's crazy. And then I have two body washes, so these are always in my empties videos lately. And these are the St. Ives body washes. This one's in creamy vanilla and this one's in oatmeal and shea butter. And I think I bought a different kind of body wash this time for my shower. So you guys might see something different in my next empties videos, but I really like these. I find these are really good value because it's like the size of my head and you get tons of product in here and it's only about maybe $5 or something. I think this is just a really good deal. And then I also ended up finishing up a nail polish remover, and I think I have another one in my room that's pretty much done as well, so I really need to go buy a new one. But I always buy, like, the cheapy um, nail polish remover. I also finished a little wallflower bulb from Bath & Body Works. So this one was in Garden Party, and I don't really remember what it smelled like, but I think it smelled good, but I don't really remember. The next thing is a deodorant, and this is from the Tom's brand, and I've never tried a like all natural deodorant so it was really weird trying this out I felt like for the longest time that it didn't work and I felt disgusting like all day and it just felt really weird but after a while I think my body got used to it and I ended up really really liking it so I think I repurchased um, another Tom's brand deodorant but in a different scent I have a bunch of skincare stuff so the first one is the Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer with SPF 45 and I really really like this moisturizer I definitely want to repurchase it because I love the fact that it has an SPF of 45 in it I'm definitely gonna repurchase this one once I finish up the one that I'm currently using and then I have another moisturizer and this is from the brand Simple and it's the Sensitive Skin Experts Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. This moisturizer was okay. I found myself really trying to rush into finishing it up because it was not it was not my favorite moisturizer. I found the formula to be really thin and very watery, so this is not something I would repurchase. And then I have the Clinique All About Eyes eye cream and this is the second jar of it that I've had and I actually repurchased a different eye cream because I want to try out a whole bunch of new ones and I actually really really miss this one so this one was really good I finished it in no time Ugh. it doesn't smell that good though and then I have the Tarte Pure Marajuca oil and this is like I think this is the little sample size that you can get and I really like this I use this as a nighttime moisturizer and this was really, really nice. I was really sad that I finished it. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I'm not sure how much it costs at Sephora or anything like that. So I'm not really sure. So everything else that I have to show you guys is makeup, which was all the way at the bottom of this basket. So the very first thing is the NYX Shine Killer Primer. And I really like this. It kind of reminded me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that I really like. Um, I really like the kind of silicone-y texture 
of primers. I find that really smooths out my skin really nicely and it makes my foundation go on a lot smoother. I don't know if I would repurchase this just because I want to try a whole bunch of different primers, but I did like this. I don't really know how good it was with the whole shine killer part of it because I do get kind of oily in my T-zone area and I found myself maybe having to reapply powder during the day, so this didn't really help a whole lot with the shine part, but it was okay. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me powder, which isn't completely done. I kind of wrecked one side of it, so it's kind of gross and not really usable anymore. This was okay. This is not my favorite powder. I really like the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder if we're talking about favorite drugstore powders, but this one was alright. Next, I finished a full size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which I love. I've repurchased this a billion times already and I really like it, um, especially for the fact that I have pretty dry skin. It's not as dry right now, which is really good, but I loved setting this on my face after I put on all my makeup because it helped make my makeup not look as cakey because of all my dry patches on my skin and it also helped make my makeup last all day, so that was really awesome. And then I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation with SPF 15. I loved this foundation. I was really, really sad when I finished it up. I would definitely repurchase this. It gave really nice coverage without making my skin feel really heavy and gross. And this lasted on my skin all day, no matter what, so the 12 hour claim that it has, I think is pretty true. And then I finished an Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion, and these things take me forever to finish. You really need the tiniest, tiniest amount to cover your whole eyelid. So these are pretty good. I've already repurchased this, and I have the Sin Primer Potion as well. And finally, I finished the Hurricane Glimouflage Concealer in the shade Light. I didn't completely finish this tube up. It kind of just got really old and I had to repurchase a new one because this stuff lasts forever. I don't know if I would go through a whole tube of this product before it ended up like expiring and having to buy a new one because you really need the tiniest, tiniest amount to cover a huge portion of your face, which is why this stuff is so awesome. I recommend this to everybody because it is the best concealer. Alright, so those are my current empties. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.